Okay. This is Rick Piper for Cross Comics. I'm doing this for both my channels at the same time, so. And Rick Piper for Cross Comics is also the Pied Piper of Hamilton. I promote both my channels on the same, on each other's. So, sorry about that. I'm just getting the introductions out of the way. I just found out that Supergirl, for season four, is bringing in a transgender hero. Now, I'm not sure how to feel about this. I want to accept transgender people as people. But, you know, pushing that, I'm not sure how they're going to bring it in, how they're going to deal with it. I'll watch it for a couple episodes, and if it seems real too pushy on the whole thing, then I'm just going to forget ever watching Supergirl again. I will give it an episode or two, maybe three if they're lucky. But I hate this SJW crap being thrown down my throat. I don't want to watch this. I want to watch Supergirl. Not SJW hour. Push your agendas on me. Why can't it just be about a superhero fighting a supervillain? That's what she is. A superhero and she fights supervillains. Why does it have to be about any other garbage? And to me, it's garbage. I'm sorry if I'm offending people. But when you're forcing your junk on me, I don't force my stuff on you. I just live my life and let it be. So live. you want to live that way? Fine. But don't throw your crap on me. To you, it may not be crap, but to me, it is. And I hate making this video. I don't want to not watch Supergirl. But I don't want to be made for every time I watch it. And oh, I'm not sure what to say. And then they're taking another white character, Manchester Black. I'm pretty sure he's white. People can correct me if I'm wrong. And they're making him black. What is it with... Doing all this, making white characters black. You wouldn't make Abraham Lincoln black if you were making a movie about him. You wouldn't make these historical white characters black if you were making a character about them. How about we take Black Lightning and make him white? Would that be happy? Or would you cry foul? You do it the reverse. But no. And when we cry foul about it, oh. We're haters or whatever. I hate this bullarchy. Make the characters the characters. And then, about Dreamer, who the character is that they're making transgender, is a hero from the future who is not transgender. You want a transgender hero in it? Take a character, make it up for the show. If it gets into comics, fine. But the character is not transgender. To begin with, don't do that. Make up a whole new hero if you're going to do that bullarchy. You know, you can do this right if you want it to, people. And not push it down people's throats. You know, these characters have existed for years and years and years, and yet you want to just change them on a whim just to push your agenda down somebody's throat? Well, guess what? There's going to be backlash. I'm not sure what else to say. I I just ticked off at this, and I this is the way I get it out, saved. You know, I will treat anybody like that with respect. Respect transgender. I'll treat them human. I'm not sure whether I'd use the pronouns that they want to be used. Although you could throw me in jail. And that's about the only reason I might use them. Just because I don't want to go to jail for something stupid. But there is only male and female. Biology. You either are born with male organs or you are born with female organs. I know you don't want to say gender and sex are different. 
Well, guess what? They're not. They are the same. You may want to make them separate, but they're the same. Biological stuff says this. You can't prove infinite genders like you want to prove. There are two genders, male and female. That's how God made it. Even if you don't want to believe in God, evolution says male and female. Science says this. Prove it via science that there is these other genders. Can you prove it? No. So let's stick to biology. I know superheroes aren't exactly science fit, fitting. They're science fiction. They're based not in reality completely. You know, somebody having super strength or super speed coming from a planet that we know doesn't exist. Yes, I understand this is not reality. But biology is, you know, I guess you could say it's science fiction, <laughs> biology. But oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to end this properly. We need to show people like that love. Sure, fine. Treat them with human dignity. Everybody deserves human dignity. But I don't need to agree with what you're doing. And you don't need to make characters that aren't that. that. Let's stick to the comics. What are these characters in the comics? You know, they messed up sad. You know, they've messed up so many characters in Supergirl. Uh, Monel. They messed up. Uh, who, Martian Manhunter. They messed up. Uh, ew, the League of Superheroes, the ones that they've had existing. I think they've messed up almost every single bad guy so far. Major bad guy. In Supergirl. You know... I can deal with that to a degree. You know, I'm a comic fan. I want to see my comics bring to life. Well, you're not bringing them to life. You're you're taking the names and just doing whatever the heaven you want with them. Not caring about the fan base. And the fan, it'll be by the fan base that these shows live or die. And this is the season where I think Supergirl will die. I could be wrong. Maybe you'll get all these transgender people watching and it'll be enough to keep it alive for another season. But you're alienating the fans that have already been there, which are more, most likely more, than the fan, than these transgender people who weren't into this stuff beforehand. We who are watching stuff like this, we were there before. And you... I would think you started it because you thought we'd be there to watch it and give you some ratings. Well, guess what? Now you're alienating us and we're going to go away and you won't have people to watch and your ratings will plummet. I know I could be wrong, but I know a lot of the comic community isn't really for this. You got your SJWs in the comic community that are infiltrating it. They're trying to make it like everybody is. But most of them are. So, I guess this is where I'm going to end it. And uh, just remember, anybody, show love. Not, don't do anything bad to these people. They're deserving of our, our love in a good way. We don't need to harm these people in any way. We don't even need to call them names. Because we don't want to get called names ourselves. Let's be better than these people. Let's show them better. They want to call us haters? Well, we'll be lovers. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. Remember to show love to these people. Don't invite them into your community. <laughs> be wary of inviting them into your community. That way, The SJWs, especially. That way they don't intoxicate. Don't let the wolves come in among the sheep. 
And I guess that's all I can say for now. Bye for now. God bless. Pied Piper of Hamilton out. Love everybody out there. Rick Piper of Cross Comics. Love everybody out there. Bye for now and God bless.